tell him you're true. Thank you very much, Lady in the Sky, for that intro. Thank you very much. I don't know, though, Lady in the Sky. Yeah, I don't know about it either. Is, it, yeah. is, that, is that a good nickname? It seems too long. Too long? Hmm, that's the problem. Hmm. Well, she said the guitar style is uh, Bossa... What Nova. Is Bossa Nova, I guess. Hmm. How about Soft Boss? <laughs> soft Boss. Yeah. She's the boss, bossa nova boss. I'm the boss of soft. But it's also very soft. Yeah, soft boss. No? Okay. Mm, It sounds like a boss that doesn't control their staff. Yeah. You know what I mean? But plays the guitar all day. Yeah, that's right. Instead of... Come on, guys, you gotta work a bit (laughs) harder than that. (laughs) And I was like, ah. Hey, guys... (laughs) Get back to work. Lunchtime's finished. Get back to your desk. Stop looking at porn on <laughs> your work computer. Let's go, guys. I want these sales finished by Friday. <laughs> Put the report on my desk. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, no one's taking him seriously. Mm-hmm. Soft boss. Yeah, soft boss. Uh, don't listen to her. She's a soft boss. Let's go to the bar. Let's go home early. Okay, all right. Soft boss won't do shit. But bossa nova, soft sounding, soft boss. Soft boss, well, soft cream. Do you have a better idea? Soft cream? Soft cream? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's again. It sounds just a little bit sexual. Yeah. In Japan, that means delicious ice cream. Yes. Yeah. It does. And she's soft, and I'm sure she's very sweet. Um, creamy, perhaps. I don't know about the creamy part. Yeah, the creaminess. No. Hmm. Uh, and anyway. Okay. The search continues. Here we go again. Oh. If any listeners have a suggestion for Yuko's artist name, yeah, yeah, send us a suggestion. Sure. So tell us, Ben, how was your father's trip to Japan? It was excellent. It was so heartwarming to see my father playing with my kids. Ah. He's a great granddad. He's yeah. down there on the floor playing trucks and cars, reading books to them taking them for walks. He's very involved. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, I met him and your oldest son, Rui. You did? Uh, took them for for ramen. They both had a great time. Thank you. Oh, yeah, well, it was my pleasure. Rui was very excited, and he wore his special T-shirt just for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, he was... The free bird... T-shirt. The Freebird Same T-shirt. I'm wearing now. He's very proud of that T-shirt. I still have some XL sizes. Okay. Yeah. If yep. anyone wants one, 55freebird.com. Guys, quick. Uh, a couple sizes, S, M, and XL. Uh, I just have a couple random colors. So it's the last, the last of the stock. Well, Rui loves his, and he was telling all his friends about it. He said, Abe gave me this. This is from Abe. You know Abe? His Everyone's friend. like, who the fuck's Abe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, my father had a great time. We visited Osaka, USJ. Yeah, you went to Universal Studios Japan. Oh, yeah. How was that? Mm, uh, well, the kids had a good time. Uh, Rui loved it. See, you say kids. You got Rui... And then your middle son, Sena, yeah. he's like two. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. And then a baby. Well, the baby, I mean, the baby's happy to look at anything. Baby doesn't know what's going on. Doesn't. Uh, how much can Sena enjoy a 
place like Universal Studios Japan? A lot, actually. Is it worth it to bring a two-year-old to an amusement park? I don't think so, because he won't remember it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. But he did have a great time. He loves Spider-Man. Uh, we got to see Spider-Man. Uh, he got a little Spider-Man car. He likes the Minions, which I hate, by the way. Uh, I yeah. fucking hate Minions. They're they're just little... I don't understand yeah, they're... why they're so popular. They're cute. Uh, they're not. Well, many people think they're cute. Well, I I just hate them. Anyway, there's a whole Minions area and... Senna and Rui. You enjoy really them. hate them. I hate them. Really? I just think they're stupid. <laughs> you know that movie, uh, Despicable Me? Yeah. It's about the guy, what's his name? Gr- Grouch? Gru. Gru? Mm. Gru. Gru. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like always in a bad mood. Well, he's an evil genius. He's a, or he he's used a, to be evil. A villain, super right. villain. Hmm. And the minions are his little workers. Yeah. Minion means evil little helper. Right. Yes. The word minion means kind of a the evil, as you said, evil little helper. Like originally they were the devil's, you know, little assistants. Yeah. The devil's minions. My minions. Yeah. It means like uh, servants to the devil. That's right. The dark lord. Hail Satan. Yeah, so I don't like them. I don't understand them. And there's so many... You know what was weird? Maybe I shouldn't go into this. What else was weird? No, tell us your opinion about USJ. Well, one thing I loved was Super Mario World. Oh, okay. That was awesome. I, I've never been there. I think it must be new. It's super cool. It's new. It's like walking inside a Mario game. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. And they have, you know, the boxes that you can punch and get points. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, it's totally awesome. Oh, wow. There's all spinning shells and flowers eating things. And man, it's so cool. Okay. So Super Mario World was the highlight of the trip. Totally. But it was so busy. So busy. That's the problem, isn't it? Yes, it was. So there was that. Uh... Many of the rides, the attractions, uh, Rui couldn't go on because he's too short. Ooh. And that was a bit disappointing. But still, uh, we went on many, many things and had a great time. They have a height limit. It's usually, it's often 110 centimeters. Uh, and he's very close. Ooh, I think he's 104. Uh. So I told him, stand straight, Rui, think tall. And, uh, you know, get up there, come on, stretch. Yeah, but the, no, the staff wouldn't have it. The staff wouldn't allow him to go on the roller coasters. Get out of here, you little minion. Yeah, unfortunately. Anyway, fuck minions. Okay, well, Ben, that's your opinion. It is my opinion. That's right. That's your opinion about minion. <laughs> my minion opinion. Your minion opinion. Yes. You hate them. I hate them. <laughs> I absolutely hate them. I have no time for them. Anyway, Osaka was wonderful. We visited Osaka Castle. Uh, My dad had a great time in Sendai. I took him to beautiful Yamagatazao. And we spent some time in Tokyo together. Yamagatazao? Yeah. Oh, cool. Got a nice hotel. Yeah. Did you do the hot springs? We did. Yeah, we did. We got a, a beautiful hotel with a natural hot spring. But it was too hot for my dad. He couldn't get in the water. Well, see, I like hot baths. Yeah. But I don't understand going to hot springs in the summertime. I love it. Even in the summertime? Yeah, yeah, I like it. In the wintertime, I think it makes sense. Better in the winter. But in the summertime, like, you're already hot. Why do you want to get more hot? Because the water is so relaxing and the water in that particular area, they say it's good for your muscles, right? Do you believe any of that? I do. I do believe it because I want it to be true. Good for your I muscles. create my own reality, right? And I go in the water and I could feel it. I just, it's just super relaxing. Okay. And when I come out and I drink my milk, I just think... You drink milk? Well, it's part of the, the tradition, you know. Uh, many, many onsen hotels 
have a milk vending machine outside of the bath area. Are you serious? I'm serious. You don't know that? No. No, it's, it's, a, it's a thing in Japan. I'm not really into onsen in general. Yeah, well, me neither. But um, I do enjoy it when I go. Yeah, you seem to go with your family. I do, from time to time. So it's a nice family getaway. Yes. But this hotel was sick. It was awesome. Sick, meaning amazing, really good, super awesome. That's right. Sick. Sick. Cool. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Slang. Slang. Sick. It was sick, bro. On the roof was a 360-degree view of the mountains of Yamagata, which are beautiful at this time of year. Vibrant green. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Right, and then my dad's coming. Oh, it's a daddy. It's a daddy Soon. adventure. Yeah, it's a shame our dads couldn't meet. Yeah, they just missed each other. Just missed each other. Your dad left, and then a couple of weeks later, my dad is coming. Isn't it strange how we never see them in the same place at the same time? Do you think maybe we're brothers? Are dad is the same person it might be the same guy and he's tricked us all these years all these years the tricky old bastard gosh god damn it dad <laughs> Those dude dads. we're brothers <laughs> could be could be <laughs> yeah uh i'm looking forward to meeting your dad i hope i can meet him uh yeah does he like australian people or is he racist against them? I'm sure he does. Yeah. He's probably has very few experiences with Australian people. Okay. Okay. Because most Australians in Canada are young people. True. On working holidays. Yeah. Yep. Something funny did happen to me, but it didn't involve my father. Okay, so right. it was after your father left Japan. After my father left Japan. Something funny. Yeah. Now, sometimes when you say funny, it's like, ha, 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 funny. And sometimes it means strange. And sometimes it even means bad. Yes, it can mean bad. So what kind of funny? Well, uh, I was in the park killing time. Oh, okay. Which which park? Uh, Nishi Park. Killing Time. Killing Time in West Park. Killing Time? But you don't live anywhere near there. No, I don't, but I was waiting to pick up my kids. Oh, because their daycare is near there. That's right. Uh, so you're waiting and killing time in the park. That's right. Okay. Yeah, with my dog, Minima. All right, so walking your dog, killing time. Little Nima's sniffing around, having a good time. And then nature called. Nature called, meaning you had to go to the toilet. That's right. I, uh, nature called. <laughs> Is that what you hear? I hear this in my head when, when you I have to pee. When I need to pee. <laughs> I'll be sitting in a restaurant with some. Business uh, business associates. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Nature's calling, as you can hear. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's nature. Nature. Okay. She calls. So nature called. You had to go to the bathroom. That's right. I had to get this piss out of my body right now. I thought, well, I'm in luck. Because recently, they built a beautiful new toilet in Nishi Park. All right. And this toilet, let me tell you. It is beautiful. Wow. Because usually toilets in parks are pretty bad. This looks like a bathroom in your grandmother's house. It's got a little picture hanging on the wall. It's got little flowers. Really? In a vase. Yeah. Oh, how nice. How nice. If that was in Australia or Canada... Oh, it would get destroyed by drug addicts. It, within 30 seconds. Yeah. It would be a mess. Ugh. But beautiful Japan, you know, you can have nice things. Yes, people are, are more careful and respectful of public property. That's right, that's right. It's very nice. It is nice. So I thought, well, I'll go piss in there. And I was making my way towards the toilet, but 
Unfortunately. You pissed your pants. No, I didn't. Oh. Ooh, just let it go. Just couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Uh, no, the toilets were closed for repair. Oh. Yeah, big, big yellow tape. But that's tough because when you when nature calls mm-hmm. and you get close to the toilet, yep. your body starts to really almost like start the process of That's right. peeing. That's and right. And it's very hard to stop. Exactly. The closer you get, the harder it is to hold it or stop. And I couldn't hold it anymore. And, and they say it's dangerous to hold it. Right? They meaning? Doctors. Okay. Scientists. Pee doctors. Pee doctors. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't hold it. It's very bad for you. That's what we say. Okay. So I went and found some bushes. Ah, you peed outside. Yeah. In the middle of the day. Like a man does. Oof, like that's... a man should. I don't know, Ben. That's a very busy park. It's downtown Sendai. Mm-hmm. In the middle of the day, mm-hmm. I would I would feel a little bit uncomfortable about peeing. Well, I wasn't happy outside. about it. I wasn't happy. But what what choice did I have? No choice. None. There's no convenience stores close by. Nature called. Nature calls, and I have to. Uh, when nature calls, you pick up that phone. You answer her every time, or you're going to piss your pants, right? Okay. So, I went and found some bushes. I tied up Nima near a tree. Okay. I unzipped my pants. All right. Zip. I pulled out my huge <laughs> snake. Just can you trouser can snake? You skip these details. No, it takes a while. I'm gonna unwrap it. No, it doesn't. Unfurl just it. Boink pops <laughs> right out. It just flops onto uh, the ground. As, as soon as you unzip your zipper, zip it already. Boink is <laughs> popping out. Boink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always get an erection every time I piss. So I started to pee, and oh my god, what a feeling! And then a great I, feeling. Yep, a tremendous <laughs> pee. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. Well, I was being quiet. Though. We are rolling. Shh, 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 shh. Didn't want to attract attention. Okay, this is private <laughs> business. So I heard something in the bushes. Something's going. Something's coming. Some kind of animal? Some kind of animal. Well, I hope so. I hoped it wasn't a man crawling around. Yeah. So this is while you were peeing? While I was peeing midstream. So the, the pee stream is flowing. Ain't no stopping it. No stopping it. Because they also say you should never stop it. The PPD. The PPD. PP doctor. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So out of the bushes came a dog. Oh, the better than... A man. Much better than a man. Yeah. Yeah. And the dog was like, hey, rah, 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 rah. what are you doing here? Peeing. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it was just, it was a friendly dog. Its tail was wagging. Uh-huh. Uh, looked like kind of a Jack Russell, I suppose. Oh, look like. Okay. Yeah. A small to medium sized dog. Yeah. Unleashed. Off the leash. Off the leash. Very rare in Japan. Super rare, especially in Nishi Park. I, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I let my dog run free sometimes in certain areas. Yeah. But not in the middle of a weekday in a inner city park. Okay. So. So you were surprised because the dog was off its leash. I was. And he's coming and sniffing around your pee so as you're continuing to pee. I'm continuing to pee and it's a long one. I've got another probably 10 seconds left, right? Maybe seven. So it comes right where I'm peeing Uh and I'm trying to move my pee away from the dog. Right. Right? I don't want to piss on a dog. No, of course not. No. So he's coming, he's smelling your pee and you're like, stop, stop it. Hey. That's right. Get away. You start peeing a little to the left or something. And I tried to just push him away with one of my feet. So you're trying to... 
you're peeing and you're kicking the dog. I'm peeing, I'm kicking the dog, and my pee was, I, I was losing control. It's starting to fly everywhere. And some went on my foot, and I was wearing sandals. Ah, gross. I peed on my foot. Peed on yourself. And I was turning my body away from the dog. Okay. But I had no more space because there's a tree next to me. Right. I couldn't turn anymore. So now you're peeing right against the tree. And the dog went right into my pee stream. I pissed on the dog. <laughs> peed on the dog? <laughs> I did. I peed on the dog. I didn't have a choice. It wasn't on purpose. Absolutely not. I would never pee on a dog. Well, you did. So you would. Yeah, but, then, well, you, yeah, I did. But I would <laughs> Well, no, I wouldn't, because I would sounds like it's something I want to do. Right. You would never pee on a dog on purpose. Intentionally. Yeah. It was an accident. Accidents happen. So I peed on the dog. It went on its back, right? The it went on its back. I mean, I don't mean the dog rolled over and said, oh, yeah, pee. give me more. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> you mean the pee hit the dog's back. Hit the dog's back. And you're like, sorry, dog, sorry, stop following my pee. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you know, he's got some on him now. Might as well finish the job. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I finished peeing. Um, and then I heard... <whistles> Lulu chan or whatever the dog's name was, some fucking some, something chun. And I'm like, oh, shit, the fucking, the, the owner's coming, right? This looks bad. So I quickly pulled up my pants to put my penis away, which takes some time. Just Wrap it up. Yeah. Zip. Zip it up. Yeah. Get that snake in the bag. And then I, I ran over to where Nima was, and I, I just pretended to be busy with him, right? Right. Yeah. So the, the lady or man? The lady. She had no idea that you just pissed on her dog. <laughs> no idea. And she, yeah, and she got the dog, and <laughs> I was, I didn't look. Like, I was, I didn't want to make eye contact with her. Right. Because she saw me coming out of, running out of the bush. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. And my dog was tied up. To the tree. So, do you think she knew you were peeing? I think she she th probably thought I was doing something weird in the in those bushes. Oh, know? really? Yeah. So, sometimes was men she do. Afraid of you? She probably was, and I don't blame her. Well, yeah. yeah, you just peed on her dog. Just pissed on your dog, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I walked away quite fast, quickly. You Power did. walk. You escaped. Get away from it. Yeah. Never happened. Put that out of my mind until now. Hmm. Now I'm reliving it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. I mean, that's, uh, there are many reasons to be careful about when you let your dog off leash. Yep. And that is another reason that probably you didn't think about is someone might pee on it. That's right. I might pee on your dog. Yeah. So, so dog owners. Careful, guys. Careful out there. <laughs> There's men pissing in parks everywhere. Men, it's a problem. Men pissing in parks. So if you're listening, Jack Russell lady, I hope Lulu Chan had a good bath and a good a good treat. Um, went to bed. Eh, I wouldn't worry too. Much. Dogs get always get piss all over them. Dogs love piss. Yeah, they 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 smell and even will like lick other dogs. It's their kink. It's their sexual pee, fetish. Smell, yeah. yeah so they love it. They love it. Still, mm. though, you don't want to go peeing on dogs. No, but you know what? In a in a weird way, I'm kind of glad it happened. Um, because Why? well, because yeah, I live my life. I want to collect as many experiences as I can: the weird, the wonderful. So, the happy and the sad. So now you've peed on a dog. Tick that off the list. Okay. The well. bucket list. Yeah. Okay. Peed on a dog. I did that. Okay. Went, okay. All right. Well, when nature calls, piss on a dog. You have to don't 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 do not piss on a dog. You gotta go. You gotta go. Careful about where you go. Yeah. That's right. Keep your dogs on a leash, and be careful where you piss. 
All right. The mo- Today's are... moral. Life lessons from Ben. You're welcome. Excellent. No problem. All right. Well, Ben, it is time to wrap, wrap it, up. it up. You are on Instagram. At I am. The E-Teacher Talk. i got to update that. Get on there, guys. Fresh yeah, update. Yeah, come on. Share some of your fun, funky stuff, Ben. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be updated today. So All get right. on there. All right. Mm. Uh, come to Twitter, FBE Teacher Talk. Send us an email, fbeteachertalk at gmail.com. Questions, comments. 55freebird.com. We will have a big event coming up uh, end of August. We will? For GoGo. For GoGo. Yeah, right. episode 500. Damn, 500 episodes. Yep. Yep. You guys yep. are animals. Yes, yes. Mm. We are podcasting animals. You are, yeah. You are. We're having a big event in Shibuya, August 20th. Come to 55freebird.com for information. Nice. 